Welcome everybody to another episode of Gary Responds. How y'all doing? Let's talk about it and get in depth with the comments you have posted on this episode. I'm ready. Munchell360 says, what's confusing is that Malto is only 29 years old and dude looks 18. That is true. Malto does look young and I think he has a little bit of Asian in him, so he's getting lucky. So when them niggas get over 40, oh my God, the wrinkles are real. And that's not racist, this is facts. Jackie Chan, he got over because I couldn't tell that he was 60 in all the rush hours. Did y'all know that? Jackie Chan like 72 years old. Him and Chuck Norris. So it's chosen few that get to look young still. Now, now if you look at Jackie Chan, you can tell he's 70. You can smell he's 72. Danny Liupert says, damn, imagine your wedding idea is so whack that it ended up on skate line. That is fucking true. God damn. Your whole wedding. We not even in the bridal plans or men's warehouse. None of that shit. This is a whole new world. And then we see your wedding and it's the happiest day of your life. And we got to let you know that you did, do nigga, you mall grabbed. You did everything wrong in the staple. Longboard, woman, mall grab. None of those things correlate. You know what's even worse though? Cause we, I know we made the joke that she didn't approve. Like she was happy when he got to the altar. So we gotta worry about way more than just this. Like, are we doing too much by actually sweating and trying tricks and shit when girls will take a mongo pushing ass longboard mall grabbing ass nigga? Nah. <laughs> Drumboarder one says, to be fair, Jeff Wan's song did a pressure flip and that other dude did an inward heel. So that explains the hype. Y'all gotta leave Jeff Wan's song alone. That is not a pressure flip. It just not very well, so it doesn't do what it has to do. His back foot is on the pop. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He did pressure flip Hollywood 16, which is fucking ridiculous, actually, when you think about it. That is, that's torqued. If that was a real, like, pressure flip down 16 stairs, impressive, baby. But I'm pretty sure that nigga's trying to end with Hill with all his might, because he did not say when he got his ad, pressure flip Hollywood 16, which would have still been funny if he said, I am with Hill then. They put that would have been funny. MK HUD 50 N says, if only Gary was in charge of race relations in this country, shit. When you literally shed light on things like that, it, it, you can create it. It's it's fake. I remember Thor said in Avengers, all words are made up. And that hit me. And it's true. All that shit made up. It's not real. We all have made things mean a certain thing. Like my name. My name ain't Gary. My name is here. Like I'm just existing. But somebody gave me a name, so when they say Gary, I turn around. It's crazy. But everything is given its perspective. So when you take it out, because I've been called the N-word in certain situations by people that want me to use that to for me to make an action and do the wrong thing because it usually gets a spike out of people and then you can end up but i'm like that's not a real word that should affect me i just use it loosely it's a funny word i find it comical i find it gives motion to certain things like i switch the word from all the power it has so if i wasn't trying to race relations we'd be happy grim joe says not gonna cover uh leticia buffoni's early celebration it turns into salty face over nishiramia i don't know how to say her name victory okay well no i'm not gonna talk about street league you gotta wait to them zeros baby leticia you gotta wait till the clock is over you'll never know what can happen you're not supposed to celebrate do shit even though that bitch won with your trick she won with your anybody would be mad now if the bitch did a nose blunt you'd be like oh okay 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 i lip slid she knows but no you lip slid then she lip slid and won cold world but i got on two jackets Often KYT says, every week, I'm like, it's already been a week. That's how I feel like, nigga. Time is flying by, so make sure y'all doing what y'all wanna do now. And make sure whatever it is is fun. Make it up. Make it seem fun. Remember I was telling you about tr tricking yourself? Trick yourself and enjoying your life. Time is... And it's 2019. We have been in the 2000s for 19 years. 9-11 was 18 years ago. A girl that was born the day before 9-11 is legal, R. Kelly. You can go that way. Fred Zeppelin says, you're not gonna ever talk about that GX dude who tried to kill the security guard. I have no idea what the fuck you talking about. Seriously, like y'all gotta chill on leak shit. That's real. This is like fun, skate line. It's real, it's news, and we'll give y'all whatever we need. But nigga, that is some other shit that we nobody knows about. Leave that shit alone, all right? Don't come here for that shit. Not here, not the green screen. <laughs> no, cause I don't know nothing. I'm deaf from Helen Keller when it comes to that. However she looked. Sorry, Helen. Dave Maley says, you just knew they were going to mention Jeff's pressure flip as soon as he read the title. I mean, that kind of correlates to earlier between the inward heel pressure. So I feel like I'm gonna do a pressure flip because I can't inward heel, all right? That's the trick I'm gonna give y'all. I'm not gonna get any too further. I'm gonna just do the trick. Oh, hoo -hoo! but I can't inward heel. I don't understand it. I don't get how y'all do that. Oh no! Stand my board! I should've stayed away! Jake Holbrook says, Gary, she sells seashells by the seashore. If you said it first try, then here are two links. And wrap this episode of Gary Responds. I did it second try. I gotta be honest. You know what, leave it in, leave it in the first failure. <laughs> Jake Holbrook says, 
Gary say she sells seashells by the seashore. If you try it first, tr if oh my god, ready? Start over. <laughs>